Hello, hello, I'm Mike Bauer, and in today's lesson, I would like to help you jumpstart your legato playing with some hammer-ons and pull-offs using what I like to call the Figaro pull-off lick, which is everywhere. Yes, may not sound like much, but oh my goodness, is this all over classic rock. Take Blinded by the Light. Right? So, we just look at this, third finger, fourth fret on the high E, go into first finger, second fret on the high E to open. We're gonna pick once, and then we're gonna pull down, and then pull down again. And all three notes should be the same volume. All right, three blind mice. Figaro. All right. Okay, now check this out. So, take a song like Over the Hills and Far Away by Zeppelin. Did you catch that? Figaro pull off leg. So now we're on the G string, right? Third finger, fourth rather than G. First finger, second on the G to open. And just doing a bunch of those, all right? All right, how about? Yup, all right? And then to get to the solo. Did you hear that? That's the same exact thing from the Zeppelin song, right? Even with the open D string at the end, right? I wonder who came first. Zeppelin actually came first by just a little bit. So there you have Wish You Were Here, right? Again on the G string. And adding that right there. Where else could we find it? How about uh, Pachelbel's Cannon? No, that's not Pachelbel's Cannon. <laughs> that is Love Song by Tesla. we go. Right? Man, a whole bunch of Figaro's in there. So we're on the G string. He does like, I don't know, seven of them maybe. Right? Then he goes to the D string, to the A string, and then back to the G. So that's a great thing to practice. Just going Being able to just make all the notes be the same volume on whatever string you put it on. Are there any electric guitar examples of this? There are. Oh man, so when Randy Rhodes did that, blah, 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 what was that? It was the Figaro pull off lick again, right? Same thing from Love Song. All right, just on an electric guitar with a pick and just super fast. Okay, so again, great thing to practice. How about a prog rock example? Anybody know what that is? That would be the Analog Kid by Rush from the Signals record. So you got an A5. And now we're actually gonna go in reverse here. We're gonna be on the D string going open, hammer on second fret D, hammer on fourth fret D. And then first finger, second fret on the G. And then uh, an open. So pulls that off actually. And then the figure will pull up like. So here it is slow. So let's talk just for a second about the hammer-ons, because that's new. So when we hammer on, our finger acts like a hammer. You want to be on the tip of your finger. We pick the D string, tip of your first finger really pushes hard onto the second fret, and then third finger pushes hard onto the fourth fret. So again, you want all the notes to be the same volume, whether you are picking or slurring. Okay? Pull off and then one more time. And we couldn't do this without a little Van Halen. How about? All right, so that is Summer Nights from the 5150 record. So you got G5 to a D5, right? G5 to an A5, and then figure a pull up flick on the D, and down on the A. Back to the G5, and he did something really cool here. So now he's 
just gonna do this little. Okay, now that's chromatic. We have open, then we're gonna hammer first finger, second fret on the A, second finger, third fret on the A, third finger, fourth fret. So, and then I'm not sure he may tap there, but we don't have to worry about that. We can do an open G string. Watch this. You know, either way, it gets it done. So, and then reversing, now we're pulling off chromatically. So, that's a really cool thing to practice, too. You could take that and put that on all strings, like. That's really what he's doing. All right, and when we talk about legato playing, it's all about the smooth and connectedness of not picking everything and really letting the fretting hand do the work. Before I go, let me give you one more. This is actually from the 1812 Overture. If you just go, right? So basically we're hammering on and then pulling off and it's a lot like everything we did today, kind of condenses it into one little uh, motif, if you will. So. Right, so um, with frets, oh, two, four, two, oh, two, four, oh, oh. So I would just pick and then slur, 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 then pick, pick at the end. And try that on different strings. Yeah. All right. And that will really help get your left hand going. It's a great primer for legato playing. Obviously, we're doing all open strings. Eventually, legato playing will take you into Van Halen territory and Satriani, Vi. And then ultimately the king of legato, which I would say is Alan Holsworth. So, but this is just a great way to get you started if you haven't done much with picking and slurring and legato playing. Well, I hope this has been helpful and I'm already looking forward to being back with you next week. If you would like more from me, check out my course, Take It From The Top at MikeBauerMusic.com.